guys, Jess here and welcome to Minecraft Diaries. As you can see, there is a lot that I have been working on. I have gotten quite a bit done. Um, I've been kind of busy upgrading the town and I'll show you guys that just a little bit. But I've also done a lot of mining off camera and during a live stream. So, a lot of the stuff that I have, I have a ton of redstone, I found some diamond, I managed to get a diamond pickaxe, and of course, I have some armor on. But I took off my hat because I wanted to kind of show you guys my face in the beginning because it doesn't look like I have a face right now. But, I have quite a bit of things. Um, Instead of my furnaces, you'll find some gold, maybe some regular stone, maybe some um, uncooked cobblestone, which we'll fix that actually in a little bit. But I have a lot of stone, so I don't really need all that right now. I also have a lot of birch wood and just a lot of wood in general. I have been so busy making this town better, and as we go on, you're going to see a lot of crazy changes. Now, you're probably wondering what that absolutely horrid sound is coming from outside. No, it's not uh, Cotty the Guard. Cotty doesn't make that terrible sound. It's actually some goats that have currently spawned in the world. I've added the Mo Creatures mod, so you're gonna see Mo Creatures wandering around here. Um, but let's go over all the different changes that I've done in the town, and maybe we'll play around with the goats in a little bit. Um, so, uh, what was that noise? That sounded... That wasn't a goat. It didn't sound like a goat. Um, so some of the obvious changes that I've done were, if you look around, you can see another goat. And you can also tell that the floors have been redone. They're no longer that nasty wood right there because I didn't like it. It didn't really suit this village. And I upgraded all of the all of the little floors here. They got stone. They got these nice stone bricks here um, going up the path. So that way whenever you come in, it's a lot nicer. I've also made the houses a little bit more compact. Um, I'm gonna make these small houses a little bit bigger and kind of expand on them later on But right now I just want to take things a little bit slow and not do too much progress off camera So that way you guys can see this town as it goes um, along. What is it? What, what is going on here? You've talked to Xenex, I suppose? Um, no, actually not yet. Uh, go talk to him, please. Okay. Yeah, I'll go talk to him in a little bit uh, Garath, you, 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 you do your guard thing um, Anyway, so yeah, I've been working quite a bit on this stuff um a few things have also happened um, during the live stream for Diaries when I was really busy. Guess who popped in my face? Like, quite literally popped in my face. It's right here. It's Dawn of the Farmer. Remember how I tried to bring her back last time? Um, and she totally loves me. She thinks I'm an absolute hottie. Oh, and we have Molly here, too. You're just hiding in the corner. Um, she just popped up, and it was kind of scary because she looks like a ghost a little bit. She's really pale, and she's got, like, this ghost stripe thing going on. So it was super scary. She just popped right in my face. But um, she made it to the mainland, and now I brought her back to my village. So she's a sweetheart. She's staying here. And, um, yeah, so these are all the upgrades that I've done. I've also changed a little bit with the houses. Um, as you can see, the entrance is no longer over here. I made the entrance right here because it just, it looks really bad. And I want to make this town look really nice and just make it progress quite a bit. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and, um, let's see, I gotta talk, I gotta talk to, is this, uh, is this, oh, that's, that is Xenix. Alright, so I'm gonna talk to Xenix. Um, madam, Me? Uh, yes, you. I need to have a word with you. Okay. Uh, you've just- I'm gonna do a voice for him. You've just arrived in town, haven't you? Gareth and I have seen you around, and we've taken notice of your hard walk- work, walk- work here. Even though you've just arrived, you have done a great service for our town. Thank you. Oh, no problem. I- I appreciate- I did- I did it for, uh, survival series. Um, oh. Survival series? I'm afraid I don't understand. In any case, I just wanted to warn you that if you keep doing things like this, you might be seen as a lord to this village. And that title these days may have some consequences. What? Just know that if you keep helping villages, the world will start moving in ways it normally should not. And that isn't always a good thing. I take- I, oh, sorry. I take my leave now. I've already said too much. Oh, okay. All right, Xenix. All right, well, you- yeah, you, you're 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 being super weird right now. But there's a zombie over there trying to get the babes. Why do the zombies always try to attack the babes? I saw this at the corner of my eye. That's not even a zombie. That's a skeleton. Whoa, he's got the high point advantage. All right, there we go. Ooh, and I got some arrows off of him too. Um, this place is not safe. I should put a torch here. There we go. I've got quite a bit of torches. Um, uh, I'm gonna have to protect this babe house because I really don't want anything to happen to it. All right, so let's go ahead and now that we talked to Xenix. He just said thank you, nothing too crazy, but let's go ahead and, um, let's start, let's start 
taming these, you know, this, just making this place a lot nicer, making this place a little bit more functional. Uh, a lot of this food here isn't really growing very well. Um, as you can see, this whole patch has just been completely ripped apart, and I'm assuming that happened when, um, maybe it was the weather mod? Because you're gonna see, like, a lot of, a bit of ice here, and you're probably wondering, what is this ice here? Well, I had, um, I'm gonna be installing and, like, uninstalling mods, uh, not, like, you know, getting rid of mods completely, but I'm gonna be, like, you know, fooling around, kind of putting in some mods to add some flavor to the world. So, the weather mod was one of them, but it just kept doing some crazy stuff, and, um, not, not the weather mod that I've shown off before, but, like, uh, a se it's a seasons mod, and I wasn't a big fan of it, so I kind of just took it out, but we got more creatures in here, um, some more stuff, and, uh, the, the mod list at the bottom of the description will keep updating as we go along. So, yeah, let's, um, let's see if we can tame a goat. I don't know if, uh, I don't know where they went. Okay, there's a goat. There's a goat right there. Alright, so, um, I'm assuming they want to eat some, oh, wheat. Wheat. Dale the guard? Where did, what was that? What are they doing? Are you eating? Is it eating? Oh, I want, I want to get a goat. Come here, goat. Oh, I just tamed it. All right, who's your pet's name? I'm gonna name you Billy. Your name's gonna be Billy. There you go, Billy. Billy, can you follow me, please? Um, let me see. Where, where's Billy going? Can Can Billy follow? Now I don't know exactly what goats do. Um, I'm assuming they're just there for uber cuteness factor and to make some really incredibly horrid sounds. But yeah, I'm gonna. Uh, can I tame you too? Uh, what? Choose your pet's name. I'm gonna name you. Uh, Belina. B Belina. There you go, Belina. Um, actually, I can't- are you guys both girls? There's a black goat over here. I want to go see if I can tame that goat, too. Maybe I'll move him to the farm or something. Let's see. Um, there was a black goat around here, but I gotta get back- I gotta get back home because it's gonna get pretty- it's gonna get pretty dark soon, and I don't have a bed just yet, so I gotta- I gotta work on that. So maybe if I can go out and look for some spiders? That would be wonderful. Um, okay, so- I don't see any, I don't see a, I hear it, but I don't see the black goat. Um, nah, I don't see it. Alright, so we're, we'll worry about that later. If he pops up, he pops up, but I got, oh, there he is! There he is! Okay, yeah, you are definitely a dude, because look at that. He's got, he's got horns. You, you're actually, I named someone else Billy, so I can't name you Billy, but I'm gonna name you, I'm gonna name, you, Billy, yeah, that's Billy. Billy's a girl, because Billy's horns aren't as big. Uh, real goats, if their horns, I think if their horns are smaller, they're girls, and if their horns are bigger, they're guys, because they need to, like, have, like, this alpha male, whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna name you, I'm gonna name you, um, I'm gonna name you Yarn. Yawn. There we go. I just wanted to name you Yawn. There we go. Alright, so I got, I got some goats. I got Belina, I got Billy, and I got Yawn. There we go. Alright, so goats, goats galore. Down here is the mine I've been working on. Um, I'm gonna make this look a lot nicer, but I've been doing quite a bit of strip mining down here. So this is where I've been getting all my materials, all my crazy stuff. Um, just been going down. I'm not gonna go down too far because then I just have to jump and that the episode is pretty much me just jumping everywhere. But yeah, just mining this whole entire area, um, getting a lot of stone, getting a lot of nice aesthetics for the town. So this town's gonna start progressing and as we go along, I'll probably start uh, moving to the other villages that you saw. Um, so not only will I stay here, but you'll see me move on, and you'll also see some old creatures pop up as I change biomes. Now, I've been focusing on farming quite a bit, um, cause I wanna- I wanna make this- what is that? Oh god, the, the zombies are attacking the guards! Oh wait, that's a guard! I didn't mean to- oh no, 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 I didn't mean to attack the guard, I'm sorry, I'm running away, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm running away- oh my god, the guard is following me. Oh my gosh, the guard is following me. Oh my gosh, the guard is following me. I, I didn't mean it, Zedix, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, I'm so sorry. Zedix, I didn't mean it. Stop following me. Oh, there's a rat! Get him, rat! Oh, the, the rat's attacking me? How's the rat attacking me? Why would you do that, rat? Go away! Oh, what do I have now? I have a raw rat. Okay, alright, good, good. I have some raw rat. <laughs> the, the rats are scary. I don't know if I like the rats. Okay, sorry, Xenix. I didn't mean to attack you. I thought that you were someone else. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my gosh. The mo, mo creatures are just... Scary. Oh, it's so it gets it gets it gets crazy, but um Okay, so we're not gonna worry about that and uh Xenex, are you okay with me now? All right, we cool. We cool. I'm sorry about that. Okay Let's do a little bit of farming in this episode and then I'll continue to kind of change around things. Um, let's see 
Let's come right here. Uh, let's 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 make the chickens. Let's make the chickens have more baby chickens and not let them get out. There we go. Have some baby chickens. There we go. Oh look at oh chicken. Oh no, chicken love. Oh my god, they kissed. Oh, this is what happens when you kiss other people. You have babies. That's totally true and not a lie. All right, so we got baby chicken. Can we get some more chickens? Let's see. Let's get. Let's try to get four chickens. Oh, just one. Oh well, they're brother and sister now. Um, okay, so we got a little bit of a chicken farm going on. Let's get a hoe. And no, I don't mean the babe house. We're not going over there. Calm down, guys. Oh my gosh. You're so silly. Alright, so we're not gonna go to the babe house. We're gonna come and- where, where, oh, There she is. Emma the guard. Oh, that's not Emma the guard. This is the- Evelyn the librarian. Let's see if we can get her to like us because she doesn't like us at all. It's- She's passive and she's irritable. Let's chat with her. That's nice. So what happened? Go bother someone else. Wow. Well, she- Likes us a little bit more. So let's try to interact with her. Let's uh, joke with her. Oh, that's one of the best jokes I've ever heard. Oh, we're on her good side now. We're on her good side. Let's tell her a story. I remember when I was younger, I could do that too. Oh, she is like in such a good mood right now. I'm not going to flirt with her. Let's just shake her hand. Ow, you hurt my hand. Okay, never mind. We're too strong. We don't know our own strength. But she likes us now, so I'm a little bit... I'm, I'm very much happy about that. Let's, uh, let's get some bread. Let's get some bread and, uh, make sure that we have enough food. Because I'm about to get kind of hungry very soon. There we go. And there we go. And there we go. And now we need a hoe. So let's get a hoe. Now that we got some bread. We can cook our, our rat. And can we, can we cook the chitlin? Can we cook the chitlin? No, we can't cook the chitlin. I don't even know what this does just yet. Um, I used to play with the Mo Creatures mod in the first season of Diaries. But I'm sure, I'm sure I remember, I'll remember what it does as we go on. Um, okay, so I came here for a hoe. Uh, <laughs> not, <laughs> no. Um, let's, let's make, let's make a nice iron one. Because I got a lot of stuff that we could, we could do with iron. I have a ton of iron. Uh, but I'm not gonna risk, I'm not gonna risk losing it. Uh, because I'm going at this like a pure survival series. As we go along, we're gonna see a lot of progress. Um, no game of, oh, time to fall! No game mode one for anything, just, you know, pure going at it like, like, like we're surviving regularly. And I got some cooked rat, so I might make rat sandwich. Um, I need, I need to get like any eye so I can figure out the recipes and stuff because I don't want to, oh, yeah, baby, just eating brutal, like, like, like crazy brutal. All right, so let's, let's just fix up the farms that we got. Oh, and there's some spider web here too. That's so good. I need, I need a lot of that because I haven't found any sheep yet. And I don't think I can shear the goats. Um, that would be sheer madness. <laughs> Feel free to click out of this video at any time, ladies and gentlemen. No, 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 really, just, just support me. Oh my god, I need it. Okay, no, I'm just joking. Um, there we go. Uh, let's, let's try for this to be a little bit nicer. And then we'll, we'll go over, you know what? You know what, I forgot, I, I think I had another option to talk to, to Gareth. So I think we're gonna talk to Gareth after this. Um, I don't think we can, let's see, let's see if he says anything different. Madam. No, he doesn't say anything different. Alright, good. I, I thought I was gonna say something different, like, get away from me because I hate you because you just tried to destroy my face. Um, he didn't say anything like that, so let's just hoe it up right here. Uh, get this taken care of. And you know what, let's give, let's give, um, a gift to somebody. Let's give, like, a, a nice gift to somebody and then we'll go talk to Gareth. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, no, not the babe house, not the babe house, not all my hard work, why would you do the- Oh my gosh, guards, why aren't you coming here? Come here, there's a creeper! Go take care! Oh no, not the babe house! Oh my god, not the babe house, please, not the babe house! Go away, creeper, go away! No, not not the farm either, I need food to survive! I need- Oh, there we go, alright, babe house, I'm coming to save you. I'm coming to save you, babe house, from the evil zombies, there's a lot of zombies over here. I need to make it a little bit safer for the babes. There we go. All right, so it's a little bit lighter over here, lighter over here, um, and just maybe some torches, right? Oh god, there's some skeletons right there. Uh, let's see if I can just shoot them with their own bow and arrow. Oh, this is, this is an epic battle. I want to use this bow for something. Ah! There we go. All right, so I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go talk to, to Gareth now because, because this is, this is, the, oh, my OCD's kicking in, oh my god. All right, just real quick, real quick, just getting all this done, getting all this taken care of. Wanted to get all this. Oh God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, okay, all right. Now I know where I need to do the construction, but let's go talk to Gareth now. Oh my gosh, I feel so. Oh, creepers! I forgot how creep. 
<sighs> Forgot why they're called creepers. It's been a while since I've had to deal with a, uh, like a rogue creeper going on around here, but... Yeah, alright, let's go talk to Gareth. I'll come and fix this in a little bit. Alrighty, so he's up here, and I had another option to talk to him, so let's let's go do this. Gareth, hello. Let's see, you've talked to Xenix, I suppose. Yeah, I did. Um, I'm gonna do, let me see, I see, he told you about the world moving. Uh, ooh, I wanna give him a voice now. What does that mean? I'm not supposed to break any walls here, but I want things to start changing again. The more you do for the villages, things in the world will start to change. Events might happen around the things you build, although it may take some time. People in the world will become more aware, and that doesn't always attract positive attention. Yeah, tell me, tell me more about this, I'm interested. Um, I cannot. If you want answers, go to the previous lord's home. It is located in the forest clearing northeast of here, for now, that is all I'm allowed to s Ooh, I'm allowed- okay. Oh, let's do that. Let's go, let's go there. All right, so you know what? We're gonna go ahead and end this episode on that note. Uh, we'll go northeast next time. And until then, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this- oh, I'm gonna take off my hat. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. We're gonna see where this takes us, and I'm just gonna stay here and work on stuff. But next time, we will definitely go to see what's in the clearing, uh, northeast of here. So I think it's, um... See, east, north, east. So, yeah, it's that way. All right, so we're going to go check that out next time. Until then, guys, thank you so much for tuning into this episode of Minecraft Diaries. I look forward to seeing you in the next one where we will discover what is in the Lord's home. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Cliffhanger much. Ah, I'm going to go see something.